July of 2015, some of our team at Home Leisure Direct were fortunate enough to be granted an invite to the factory of Diamond Billiards. Diamond's pool tables have taken the competitive world of pool by storm, and we were extremely lucky to be able to see these magnificent tables being put together first hand, as well as some of the processes and thinking that go into making every single table. The floor itself is divided up into several zones, each one focused on creating a certain part of each table. So a zone for top rails, a zone for legs, a zone for clothing, a zone for assembly and so on. The tour comprised of us being taken around each part of the enormous production floor, seeing each and every component being built before everything was put together during the final assembly. One thing that our guides were keen to express to us was that nothing at Diamond was outsourced, and everything was produced completely in-house. Let's take a look at just some of the things that go into these incredible tables. One of the most involved techniques in putting a diamond table together is actually the construction of the top rail. Each side of the top rail is actually comprised of six individual pieces of butcher block oak or ash timber, and then finished with a seventh layer of poplar wood. Everything is then compressed together very tightly, and then electronically glued together, effectively turning the seven parts into one single rigid piece. Once glued up, every piece is then marked with various details. For example, P141 and P102 refers to the corner and side pocket angle respectively. The completed rail can then be stained to any finish, polished, and then the diamond sights along the top can be inserted. Speaking of finish, this applies to any wooden part of a diamond table. Here for example, we've got a section of the floor dedicated to diamond's pull triangles. It was good to watch the main body of the table coming together as well. Again built in solid wood, then finished in any given stain. It gave us a good opportunity to see exactly how Diamond's unique wedge levelling system worked as well. All these wedges can be individually adjusted, raising the slate up or down in any given place, allowing the slate to be perfectly levelled. You can also make out where the slate gets bolted directly to the frame. Diamond tables aim to keep their designs as solid as possible, so they even attach metal braces to the slate to add structural integrity. At this stage, we were also able to see the classic diamond logo being filled out by hand on the sides of the table, here being done in a white epoxy resin. We were even shown the slate clothing process. Here you can see the cloth being applied to the cushions and of course the slate. Finally, we were shown diamond's impressive inventory, full of tables ready for distribution. Most of the tables in this warehouse is Diamond Smart Table, the most popular table that they produce for commercial environments. Just before we left the factory floor, we were able to see our own completed table being packed up just before it left the factory to be shipped to our showroom. Yes, the table that now stands proudly in Ida's barn is this very one. You'll notice that the table here is complete, however Diamond also showed us an alternative way that tables can be delivered for customers with a little less space, where the table can come in easy to assemble pieces that can fit through most doorways thanks to this special trolley. Before the day was over, we were welcomed into Diamond's main office and were shown some really innovative new coin mech and ball return technologies that Diamond had been working on. A system that's able to intelligently pick out the cue ball and send it back to the table's bulk end, allowing for a full-size cue ball. We also saw this awesome and unique diamond table that had been finished in maple, then given a clear stain so not to detract from the wood's natural grain. With that, the tour came to an end. We were extremely impressed at the craftsmanship and work that went into Diamond's design processes, and we hope you found this look around Diamond's warehouse and production floor interesting. If you want to discover more about Diamond Tables, or to see our very own Diamond Pro-Am, then come into our showroom and try some frames for yourself.